Hi, hello, welcome and welcome to yet another episode on Little Sla YouTube channel. Today in this video, let us see another step of correlation, which I would say an advanced step of correlation. So what are we going to do today is we are going to create a framework for the frequently occurring correlated values or say for example if we are creating multiple scripts as part of a testing part so we might need to correlate the same value multiple times so we need to spend some time in finding the correlated value and correlate them manually what if you have an option where you just right click and search for dynamic parameters and click finish just a three second of action that will save you at least one hour of effort so let us see that today on how to do it so before i start doing that i have a script which will take us to the landing page and then we'll enter the store we'll sign in so this is the same application that we do regularly for our most of our demo so we log into the application select the birds add it to the cart proceed to checkout pay for that make a confirmation and return to main menu and finally sign out of the application so before i proceed with the correlation or before i proceed with the framework part let me make a duplicate of the project so to make a duplicate of the script i right click on the script and then select duplicate so this will create a duplicate of the original script so let's now start with the correlation part and the framework part so we all know uh, since we were doing correlation for a multi for long for long time so the sign in part will actually start to carry the session id so session id is something uh, so a value that comes from the server to keep the session alive so this is the value that we are going to correlate so again i'm repeating so first step is identify the alphanumeric or the correlated value that comes from the server select that and the second step is going to be go to the flag request icon select that and in this request to flag window go to the whose recorded response contains and paste the value that we want to correlate click close and you will automatically see a tick symbol before the request that we have selected so that is how the normal behavior it works so normally this comes in the response of the rec of the previous request and that will be taken from the response and that will be passed to the consecutive requests so this is where we have got the session value so let us now click on advanced and here in this recorder response we can see the j session id value so let's now go to the variable extractors and i'm clicking on the plus symbol and this will take us to the variable extractor window so i'm i'm selecting i'm creating a value that is 01 j session id so this will be the name and to extract the value from so we have four different options one is the body so body is the one that is let me show you so in the recorded response so this is the body so whatever that comes from this doc type whatever that comes under the body tag is the body section and whatever that comes in the header part so let me show you the header part here so in the recorded response we can see here 
so whatever that comes here is the header part so these header part contains the content type and what type of cookies any header values they carry on so those will come in the header part and then we'll have both so every time we make sure that we select the both so that no values will get missed from both the body and the header so when once you select the both it will automatically cover both the body and the header so let's select both let's name the variable as j session id and let's now go to the starting with so let's click on the magnifier the text picker button and here let us search the value so this is the value that we need to correlate so we will select the left boundary which is j session id equals and click on and click on the pick selected text so automatically the j session id is set as the left boundary so let's now set the right boundary which is going to be the semicolon so here we can see that the session id value is been selected and again we are selecting the occurrence to extract as one so the first occurrence will be taken as the j session id value let's now click ok and we will move on so before we move on so the main objective of this video which is creating this particular j session id as a framework because there are various advantages whereas like if you create as it as a framework parameter we can import and export to different team i mean different people in our team so that nobody in our team needs to do this action like since it's take it takes some 10 to 20 minutes to create it every time instead just we can do it in two to three seconds maximum of five seconds we can just do it in a click so let's now do it so let's now see how to create that so we have this j session id here and now let us select this move as framework parameter so this is at the bottom of the variable extractor window so let us click on move as framework parameter and here we will get this search for dynamic parameters window so this will ask us what is the parameter name and where it has to be selected whether it is an existing framework or it has to be a new one so let us select it as a new one and we will name it as 01 j session id so this will going to be a new framework and let us click next and replace the extracted value by a variable in the parameter name let's choose that parameter name and the parameter value so the parameter name is going to be 01 underscore j session id and then let's select the the other values if we want so let's select the text content the part of the text or let, let, we can select the regular expression so let us give the regular expression as we all remember it is j session id equals that is a left boundary and anything that comes in between the j session id equals and the colon will be selected as the correlated value selected as the collector value so let's now move on i'm clicking on next so here it asks for search for dynamic parameters so for now let's skip this step and let us click finish so we have created it we can check that in the parameter section so let's now go to the tools or else we can go to the edit preferences then let's go to the project settings okay, and let okay it's it's in the general settings in the under the general settings it's in the frameworks so here we can see the 01 underscore j session id is being created so let's now see where the various other uh, functionality of it 
so in case if we want to Im import or export so we can do that very easily so in in case if you want to change or uh, if you want to make any updates to the uh, expression to the regular expression we can click on the edit and we can add any we can make any changes in the regular expression we can also see what kind of the regular expression it is and what there is a value template and what is it if we don't find the value so it will tell us not found and also it will throw us an assertion error and this is going to be the parameter name let's click ok and in case if you want to make a copy of it you can click copy and if you want if you can click you can paste it so so there are like different other uh, functionality we can use it so for now I'm deleting it and the next thing is if you want this to be exported to your teammates who are working uh, as part of your team and you want them to use so even in fact they have created they have created some other um, framework and if you want that so let's see how to import it so let's now see how to import the framework so let, before that let's see how to export it so we are selecting this particular framework before that let us uncheck and select all and we'll select what is the framework that we need to export just select the export and this is going to be the directory so just click on ok and that particular framework has been uh, exported successfully so it's, it's just a normal a normal file and what if we want to import so again go back to the import click on the import button and that particular framework will come as dot xml format okay so just remember because this might this question might come as a uh, one of your question in your certification so just remember so the framework that we create will end with dot xml and we can do an import and export in the general settings part under the frameworks this have come as a question for one of my certification exam so just remember so you can get this as a question so the format of the framework will end up with dot xml and that comes under the general settings so let's click on apply so we have created a framework we have exported it we have imported it so let's click apply and let us now try to search the dynamic parameter and see how it works before I proceed further, let me give you a tip on the framework part. So go to the preferences. Uh, sorry, before I mean before that, go to this actions part where we have recorded the variable or where we have extracted the variable. Just go and create this particular thing, uh, the value that we correlate. So this is the this is going to be the value that we are going to co correlate and this is the expression so to have the exact value of expression just go to the switch to advanced mode and copy paste this particular regular expression and this is for the safer side so that you don't miss anything again go to preferences select the value that we want and select this button and paste it here so that there won't be anything that you miss click on ok select apply ok and to close the general settings and then save the project to make sure that particular framework is being saved in your project so let's now do one more search so to do that right click on the script click on search for dynamic parameters and now Make sure you select the search for dynamic parameters, use framework rules and search for dynamic parameters. So for now, let us choose only the use framework rules and I'm unchecking the search for dynamic parameters and clicking on next. So yes, we have got the parameter or the framework that we have created. I'm clicking on finish. Let's now see the value that has been replaced so yes the value is replaced here so this is so quick and simple so it is going to be a one-time work and it saves a lot of time and effort since if the if 
there are like multiple requirements where we have to create multiple scripts at the same time so for those times it will save you a lot of time and effort so please make sure you follow these steps and please reach out to me if you have any queries or doubts and don't forget to subscribe to our channel like the video and share the video with your friends we will meet with another interesting topic in our next video in our channel please stay tuned